Hello fellow makers, I'm Ben. Welcome back to 3D Printed Soup. Now, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you know that I like my arcade games and I like my pinball. And I'd love to own a pinball machine, but unfortunately they are very expensive and very hard to maintain. However, virtual pinball is very, very much something that I've been enjoying. I've even built myself a virtual pinball table. The one problem is the mechanics of it, the plunger. Now, a plunger is a thing you pull back let go and release to basically send a ball around the table and it's an integral part of pinball without it you're kind of stuck with uh, what i am stuck with at the moment which is a button as you can see here this is how i installed it just got a hole drilled in the front of my cabinet and uh, just a regular arcade button slipped in the front and uh, with that just get it around the right way plugged into a circuit board and it functions like a uh, a regular arcade button but it doesn't function like a plunger as you can see here we've got all my buttons at the front and i've got my pinball all set up looks lovely 4k screen got some back glass as well i'm gonna put that in a box at some point but at the moment it all plays lovely and yep what you have to do is you just press the button and release so look here just press it pulls about the thing release and it fires it all very very nice works out quite well but it's not exactly a plunger which is what you want so i thought hey why can't i 3d print my own and it turns out you can i had a look on thinking first and found this but no one's made it before which either means it's going to be great and undiscovered or it's terrible and no one's bothered to print it but I have. But before we start building and printing, thanks to everyone who's liked and subscribed. We're well over 2,000 now, heading happily towards three. If you haven't liked and subscribed, drag your cursor down, just cover it over that subscribe button, give that a click, and click the uh, like button and the bell as well, so you know when I'm expecting an upload. And welcome to the 3D printed arcade, which is 3D printed soup. Please mind your balls on the buffers. Thank you. Right, let's get printing. So with the printing done, we have got some extra bits. We've got a decent spring, we've got a coach bolt, and we've got an arcade button. And what happens is, uh, you thread the coach bolt through the spring and through the uh, mechanism itself. But first you put a stopper on here. Now this stopper is what's gonna press the button. So there we go, you've got the uh, spacer there as well. Oh. Pick that up, you just screw the plunger onto here. And what will happen is whenever you pull back the uh, plunger, it will also move the coach bolt through the spring. And then that stopper at the end there will press the button. And so basically if you hold it back, it will act like it's so uh, you're holding back the plunger and the ball will be pulled back in the pinball machine. And then when you let go, it will release and the pinball machine will shoot out. It's a very clever piece of engineering and yeah, this works really, really nicely. I'm just putting a bit of hot glue here to hold the button in place because uh, otherwise it's gonna shift around and it's gonna be taking quite a bit of movement with uh, this pulling back and then releasing thing. And if I play a couple of thousand games of pinball, it will eventually break off. So I thought, bit of hot glue jammed in there just to make sure it's nice and secure so there won't be any undue pressure on it. And there we go, it looks damn good. 
Now let's give this thing a try and see how it works. So yeah, I put it on here. I pull it back. I release. And there, it gets released into the game. That is very, very cool. Let's have a look at this at another angle. There we go. Just attach straight on with a couple of bolts. Pull it back. And release. And that fires the ball into the table. Well, yeah, that turned out very, very well. And yeah, this plunger is absolutely great. It works very, very nicely with the cabinet. And yep, here's me playing uh, Jurassic Park. And yeah, basically, whenever you lose a, lose a ball, actually being able to basically just pull back the plunger and fire another one out is uh, really, really nice. So check out the action on this. And fire. And yeah, it feels really, really good. And it sounds great as well. I put a little rubber washer between the plunger and the space to make sure that the plastic doesn't smack together too hard and crack it. But yeah, this is a really, really cool design. And thanks very much to the guys who designed it. Links in the description below as always. And if you give it a print, make sure you go out there, leave them a nice comment and tell them how good the file is. Well, thanks so much for watching 3D Printed Stoop. Stay happy, stay safe. Keep plunging.